Hey guys, all right, we're driving through an area that's an inscription house. I've not been through here in a long while. So we're only in here because we're turning around. <laughs> but it doesn't look like many things have changed. It just, it looks the same, I guess. But yeah, so this is the housing by the inscription house clinic. driving through is actually where the Tessaani church is located and I'm enjoying this view guys the sky is everything those clouds look amazing so up ahead we're going to be coming up to the Shanto market store it's recently built I'm not going to show it in here I've, I've shown it in several of my past vlogs so go check that out and I know they're projected to build a hotel so we'll see how it goes Hey everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, it's Ashe, Sarah, you know, yeah. Thank you for coming into my channel. We have all the babies in here. We are stopped at a gas station. And where are we at? We are at Sinclair Dino Care. So, um, oh, I have trash. I have trash. Sorry, guys. We're getting rid of trash. Um, so we stopped for gas. Uh-oh, Noli woke up. Stopped for gas, and we are on our way to Tuba City. Tuba City, we're coming at you. Um, but by the time I post this, we will not be in Tuba City anymore. Um, okay, so we're with my family. I don't know where they're parked. They're parked somewhere else. They are hauling a truck load full of trash. So they are hauling some trash. Uh, we accumulated so much trash at my parents' place uh, just from having dinners and being there. We have the babies who just woke up, so I'm so sorry. Um, they just woke up, just letting you know. But really quickly, wanted to give you an intro. My name is Sarah. I am a Navajo mom of five, married to, you know, him out there, <laughs> my best friend. Um, and we're headed to Super City with my family. We're going to take some trash and haul it away and show it to you in Navajo style. What's wrong, Papa? Okay, I gotta go. Baby's fussy. Alright, we're done getting gas. The family is right there ahead of us. We're traveling behind them. There are so much res puppies. Res dogs. Yeah, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Only. Okay, so we are leaving the Tanalia slash Red Lake area. Um, and we are going south. I'm really horrible at directions. I'm so sorry. So we're just traveling behind family. Oh, there's another truck ahead of us hauling trash as well. So yeah, this is definitely what you do when you live on the reservation, the Navajo Nation. You um, have to haul your trash to either Tuba City or I think Kaibato. I'm not sure if they are accepting trash um, and Page. But I think when you haul it to Page, I think you have to pay. I'm not entirely sure. So don't don't hold me at that. I'm not sure. But anyways, we're here. We're just headed to Tuba City for the day. After we haul trash, we're going to stop at Bashes. And that is the only grocery store in Tuba City. But I did hear that they have a Starbucks. So we'll check that out. Tag along with us and we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in Tuba City and we are that much closer to the trash area. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people. Wow. I haven't been this way in like forever. I've not gone to the trash dump in a long time, like several years. So this is definitely a treat because I haven't been this way. Oh my gosh, the building's burned down. I don't I am gonna show you the line ahead because there's a line, there's several vehicles. It's not too bad, I think, but, but there's a line. And I think there's people like at the Hajdi Lua area. Um, basically, that just means like a flea market area where people go to sell food, um, accessories, stuff, things like that. <clears throat> So I think the line is forming on that side and that's where you go through 
to drop off all the trash and they'll just woke up. So there are my parents and they're gonna turn around to take the trash and drop it off. But we're just gonna hang out and wait back for them. <laughs> we're just gonna park up here guys because we don't have trash in our vehicle. But there's like a line as you can see. I'm tempted to just get out of the vehicle and go over there and, <laughs> and just walk through and be like, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> So here we are. Now I haven't been in that area for so many years. So I don't know what type of vendors they have. I don't know what the busiest and popular days are. But it looks pretty busy and popular to me. I just love this image of Omi hanging out and looking around and soaking it all in. I really love that. So vehicles back up and then they get out of their vehicles. As you can see my brother way over there. And they take their trash out of the vehicle. <laughs> We're just going to be creeper status and, and watch. <laughs> but basically that's what you do. You take your trash to Tuba City, you unload it there, and then you're done. And then you go out. You just have to follow the rules. Make sure you're not throwing away tires and like oil and grease and that sort of things. They have rules, so it's really important to follow those. Believe it or not, this whole compound right here is like a newer version. They used to have their um, trash disposal like in a whole different layout. Do you remember that? Yeah. It is a beautiful day though, guys. It is so beautiful. Skies are clear. Oh my gosh, the beautiful day. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, so we'll see about that. I also want to point out that Tuba City is on the Navajo Nation and they do practice wearing the mask, so they enforce it. It's pretty strict here. So wherever we go outside of the vehicle, we have to have a mask on. Um, so even here when you're taking the trash out, it looks like they're done. So we're gonna turn around and head and follow them But yes, wearing a mask is highly highly like suggested here, maybe even required. So that's what I'm noticing I have no idea where we are off to next. We're kind of just following them. Oh, that's where we're going We are going to bashes so for all of you people who live in Tuba City, what is your favorite place in Tuba City? Drop it in the comments below. Um, I don't think I really have a favorite. Do you have a favorite place in Tuba City? I like the Hogan restaurant. I really like that. I haven't ate there in years though, so um, I don't know. But yeah, drop it in the comments below. All you wonderful people of Tuba City, let me know what the favorite place to be at is. Okay, see ya. I believe the last time I was on this road was when I was attending a parade. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's what it was. Okay guys, so because I'm not in my vehicle, I'm wearing a mask and I'm at the NCUA place and this is kind of how it looks. So it looks kind of like that. And people come here to, you know, for the NCUA services and you can actually grab a calendar. So it's like the big calendar for the whole annual year coming up for 2022. So that's what it is. Um, yeah, apparently they only allow four customers in at a time, but that's what we're doing. And they got a calendar. So now we're going to head to Bashes. As we're driving through here, oh my goodness, I have so many um, memories just flooding my head. Um, I remember the Hogan restaurant. I'm not sure if it looks the same. That McDonald's looks pretty new. There's a Taco Bell to the left and I think a family dollar. Yeah, to the left. And yeah, this truck was just blocking the whole street. But you know, it was so sad to see that the park was closed off. I get it. It's serious. There's a serious thing going on, but it was really hard. Like, it just broke my heart to see the skate park and the park just closed off. And I really get why they did that. But unlike 
the health and well-being of their mental health is important too. Um, it's one of those things where there's not really like a right and wrong answer, but it did break my heart to see that it was just taped off. And I know that serves as like a big um, reliever and decompressor for teenagers and young people and even parents. So that was really heart crushing. But um, I know it's, you know, meant there for good reasons. It just was hard to see. But this is the majority of Tuba City. There are businesses a along this main street, um, doesn't look different than anything, um, than everything I can remember. Uh, the KFC still looks the same. Um, I don't really frequent Tuba City, so it was really, really nice to be able to just drive through and see the area again and just say, what's up? <laughs> so, oh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I forgot how tired my hand got from holding the camera. Sorry, guys. We're a mess. Okay, so that whole building has, like, businesses and food places in that plaza. And there are a couple more businesses to the right. And this intersection is, like, the main intersection because people travel through there. And there's, like, so many gas stations as well as a hotel right across. So here we are just following my parents. And now we're at 2V because the last gas station did not have restrooms. And apparently this one has restrooms. So it's called 2V or Duvi. It's on the Monkopi Hopi side. I hope I said that right. Please educate me if I said it wrong. Um, I'm open to criticism. Um, I would love to learn. So let me know. Thank you. Starbucks here. As a vlogger, I take my role seriously, <laughs> so I asked our cashier register what? lady if she wouldn't <laughs> mind being in my video, and she did not want to be in it, so I did my best in hiding her face, and I just want to say thank you so much, and I love that she was able to be brave enough and just share with me that she didn't want to be shown in my video. Okay, that's all. So I asked Trinity, one of the ladies who work here, and she said the Starbucks here has been here since I think March. So that's pretty cool. So now we're leaving and they have a information run at the top. Huh? When did you perfect your recipe? Uh, then quite a while ago. Like the second or third time making it, or? This one, I've been there many times. No, I mean like the first time and then the second. By the second time you first made it, or did you already have your recipe perfected? Um, or were you still twisting uh, it? I, I had to, uh, no, I already knew. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, have you tried making your own pizza? No. Because she performed this Yeah. It's just like, you can, you can mix it. Like you're using sweet um, rolls. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to make donut rolls mm -hmm. it's the, almost the same have you made your own donuts no uh, well i did actually tried it at one time uh-huh but i was wrong i don't have a deep fryer pan oh. so it didn't turn out right 
just a regular skillet with uh, grease in it and mm -hmm. it did, just did not work. Oh. <laughs> I need a deep fryer to do that. And so I don't have that. I wonder how much they cost. The deep fryer, oh, the, the one that I was looking at was about two two forty nine. Oh, I was about to say at eighty nine. <laughs> <laughs> They're all different prices yeah. though. Yeah. I think the lowest one I've seen is like um eighty nine. Mm. They're, they're smaller though, the one, the 89 mm -hmm. deep fryer is smaller than the one. You might as well save up for a nice one, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the deep fryer is good to have because you can do french fries in it. And, oh, yeah. And just deep fry the chicken. Yeah. Like that. Like fried chicken. Yeah. I think people even do fried pork. Oh, yeah. Yeah, coat coat the chicken with the um, season mm -hmm. and and breadcrumbs. Yeah, Relini Tate she made it out of the Kellogg cereal. Mommy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mommy. She crushed up the Kellogg cereal. Oh. Yeah, honey. Some tea, Mama. You want some tea? Yeah. You can have some of my tea. Uh, over there. Oh, that one. Okay. That if it's a, the, if it's if it's a thin crust, oh. thin crust, it will come out too. Oh. Just like in the middle, like this. Uh huh. One and wow. two. Wow. That. Yeah. Wow. Here I was thinking that just makes one like a medium. <laughs> yeah. If you want to make a th a thick crust, uh -huh. then it probably will be the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. What they call Chicago style. Oh, yes. Like at Giordano's. Uh, Remember that pizza? Oh, yeah, we had pizza there at one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this one, I'm going to set it aside. Is there such a thing it... as kneading it too much um, for the pizza dough? For the pizza, you don't have to oh, worry do about it. Too it? Much, yeah. But for sweet rolls, you have to be careful. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. How long do you have to let it sit out? Um, yeah, I do that yeah, for about maybe 10 minutes. I let it sit. So, we're gonna let this baby sit out for 10 minutes. All right, so we got back from Tuba City. It was a really short, short trip. Um, we are now making a pizza for dinner. My mom makes the best. I normally use the hot uh, sauce, but this one is mild. Gonna let this brown. No red in it. So all so, well done. Yes, all well done. And Leland's gonna cut up the. Do you want to see the package we use? We use, where do we get that from? Batches? Okay. We picked that up from Batches in Tuba City today. If you want a different alternative to the meat I just showed you earlier, this is what my mom usually uses, um, but this one is hot. We're gonna okay. use this one tomorrow when we attempt a cauliflower pizza crust recipe. So we'll see how this turns out tomorrow. Leave. Okay, so this one is the pepperoni that they're using. Sorry, the camera's at a lower angle because I'm carrying Debbie. All right. We'll be having onions, bell peppers, and olives on top of the pizza.
I love how the photo turned out. It's so vibrant. It's so delicious. And of course, the pizza is ready to go in. We made two of these pizzas and they look good. Okay, so we finished a puzzle last night and we have a new puzzle up and that's how the puzzle is going to look. look. Our puzzle Omi. crew. Good job, Omi. Woo woo. It's a really thin, thin crust. That looks really, really nice and stretchy. Wow. And then I put some... Um, do you do olive oil? Uh, olive oil or butter. Okay. Uh, olive oil is much better. Okay. Sorry, I was going to show my mom up close, but I'm nursing Noel, so I'm giving you the best shot I can from here. in a job interview. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> Are you married? Oh, no. <laughs> if that were me, I would <laughs> So we put our little uh, markers on the ones who we thought that dad was going to choose and it ended up him choosing purple. So purple got two points and, and pink got one point and then dad um, taupe color got two points. So we're having game night and as always I am going to end my video here. Thank you guys for watching my video today. We went to Tuba City. It was nice to see the area because I haven't seen it. In, uh, give me hold on. I haven't seen it in a long time. I went into Bash's. I was able to see how the store looks. I even saw the Starbucks. We got home and made some pizza. We had family time. Yeah, but I know it's the game. So we're just having family time, um, game night, and then we're going to work on the puzzle. So we'll see you later. And thank you so much for watching. Have a really good night. Bye. Have a really good night, everyone. Hagana. Oh, good job.